Today's Catholic Mass Readings and Gospel Reflection 27th Sunday in Ordinary Time October 8, 2023 First reading is taken from the book of Isaiah chapter 5 verses 1 to 7 Let me now sing of my friend my friend's song concerning his vineyard. My friend had a vineyard on a fertile hillside. He spaded it, cleared it of stones, and planted the choicest vines. Within it he built a watchtower and hewed out a wine press. Then he looked for the crop of grapes, but what it yielded was wild grapes. Now, Inhabitants of Jerusalem and men of Judah, judge between me and my vineyard. What more was there to do for my vineyard that I had not done? Why? When I looked for the crop of grapes, did it bring forth wild grapes? Now, I will let you know what I mean to do to my vineyard. Take away its hedge give it to grazing, break through its wall, let it be trampled. Yes, I will make it a ruin. It shall not be pruned or hoed, but overgrown with thorns and briars, I will command the clouds not to send rain upon it. The vineyard of the Lord of hosts is the house of Israel, and the men of Judah are his cherished plant, he looked for judgment, but see, bloodshed. For justice, but hark, the outcry. Responsorial Psalm The vineyard of the Lord is the house of Israel. Second reading is taken from the book of Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 to 9. Brothers and sisters, have no anxiety at all, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, make your requests known to God. Then the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, Whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is gracious, if there is any excellence and if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Keep on doing what you have learned and received and heard and seen in me. Then the God of peace will be with you. A reading from our Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Chapter 21, verses 33 to 43. The Parable of the Tenants. Jesus said to the chief priests and the elders of the people, Hear another parable. There was a landowner who planted a vineyard, put a hedge around it, dug a wine press in it, and built a tower. Then he leased it to tenants and went on a journey. When vintage time drew near, he sent his servants to the tenants to obtain his produce. But the tenants seized the servants and one they beat, another they killed, and a third they stoned. Again he sent other servants, more numerous than the first ones but they treated them in the same way. Finally, he sent his son to them, thinking, they will respect my son. But when the tenants saw the son, they said to one another, this is the heir. Come, let us kill him and acquire his inheritance. They seized him, threw him out of the vineyard, and killed him. What will the owner of the vineyard do to those tenants when he comes? They answered him. 
he will put those wretched men to a wretched death and lease his vineyard to other tenants who will give him the produce at the proper times. Jesus said to them, Did you never read in the scriptures? The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done, and it is wonderful in our eyes. Therefore, I say to you, the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a people that will produce its fruit. Reflection from our Holy Gospel Producing the fruit that God expects How many horrendous things are done in the name of God and religion? Terrorists, cult leaders, Zealous preachers mouth the name of God while declaring war against perceived enemies. In fighting for God's glory and in the hope of entering paradise, they sacrifice innocent lives with nary a qualm of conscience. In his visit to Iraq, Pope Francis called for an end to violence and extremism. In a speech in Baghdad on March 5, 2021, the Pope said that religion, by its very nature, must be at the service of peace and fraternity. The name of God cannot be used to justify acts of murder, exile, terrorism and oppression. On the contrary, God who created human beings equal in dignity and rights, calls us to spread the values of love, goodwill and concord. The Gospel parable of the tenants points to the violence of the tenants who murder the messengers sent to them by the owner. Even the son and heir is not spared. When Jesus finishes the parable, the chief priests and the Pharisees immediately realize that it is about them. These religious leaders rule over the people with authority from God. They have taken their seat on the chair of Moses's. Yet, how much violence and oppression are committed in the name of that authority? They appear to be faithful to the law yet they persecute the prophets and wise men sent by God. Since they are familiar with scriptures, they probably would not miss the likeness of the parable with Isaiah's portrayal of Israel as a vineyard first reading. There, Israel and Judah are condemned for bloodshed and the outcry born of violence. Matthew's readers on the other hand, would not miss reference to Jesus himself. He is the son and heir sent after the prophets. Like the son in the parable who is thrown out of the vineyard and killed, Jesus dies outside the walls of Jerusalem. Jesus also suffered outside the gate. Because of their violence and their mistreatment of God's messengers, the kingdom of God will be taken away from the tenants. Originally, the parable concerns the leadership of Israel. Israel's leaders will be replaced. Still, Matthew's community now composed of Jews and Gentiles would hold that they are the ethnos, the people given the kingdom and who are challenged to produce the fruit that God expects. They are to show they are equal to this calling by bearing fruits of justice and peace, so that the name of God may not be defamed on their account. Most precious blood of Jesus Christ, save us and the whole world. Most precious blood of Jesus Christ, save us and the whole world. Most precious blood of Jesus Christ, save us and the whole world. Amen.